This is a short clip from today's podcast episode. All right, number five, mistake number five, not creating related supporting content for each service and then linking those related pages together internally. So this is a really big one, right? So even if you have a service page for each one of your services, if you're in competitive area, it's probably still very hard for you to get those pages to rank high in local searches. So to add ranking power to your service pages, you need to create related content articles, blog articles, posts, and then link that content, that blog content, to its related service page and then vice versa from the service page to the blog content. So a link to it and a link from it. For example, if you're a plumber and you have a water heater repair page, you also then need several blog pages that are about topics related to water heaters. I'm just going to spew out a few. I have no idea if these are how to size a water, why my water heater is making popping sounds, right? So I just made those topics up. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Each of those blog post articles should be thoroughly keyword researched to find out even what you're going to write about, right? And then examine the competition get all the subheadings, get all the frequently asked questions that people also ask questions. And then for that one topic, that one, what the article is going to be about, and then it's written as a separate blog post, right? And then post it on your blog. Then link every page that talks about, in our example, water heaters, all the blog posts that talk about water heaters to your water heater repair page. And then link, like I just said, from that same service page out to the blog posts, each of the blog posts. Link them together. So if you have 10 supporting blog post articles for your one water heater repair service page, then all 10 of those pages need to link to each other. So 10 links plus link to your service page. And then at the bottom or throughout your service page, inconspicuously, hopefully, you want them to call you for the service. So near the bottom, you should start linking out in body text out to those same 10 articles. Okay. It's also important, by the way, that that so you're linking, which means you're highlighting some text and then you're linking it to a page on your site, right? So that text that you're highlighting and becomes the clickable link, they call that anchor text. And you want to use a keyword phrase in that anchor text that helps identify the page it's linking to, right? And then you also want to vary that anchor text a little also. 